Okay, so the easiest way to get the link um, to the Canva um, Google Classroom headers is to go to instagram.com backslash engage the middle. So that's my page. Um, if you do it from your computer, it's easier to do it than if you do it from your phone. So click on my link tree, which is the link in my bio, and you'll click Google Classroom headers with Canva. So I'm going to click that. And that's going to take you to my copy of the Google Classroom headers. So the first thing here says click on file, make a copy. So I'm going to click here where it says file and then make a copy. And now it's gonna say copy of copy of Google Classroom headers. That means that is your copy and you can do whatever you want to do to it. So I'm going to um, rename it so you can put your name. So I'll put Susie's Google Classroom headers or whatever your name is so that you know that's your copy that you're editing. I can close this one up because I don't need that one anymore. Um, okay, so this was just the instruction, so you can definitely delete that. And here, you can change the background, so you can click where it says background, and that will take as long as you want it to take, um, depending on what kind of background you want for your Google Classroom, if you want them to all be the same, if you want them to be different. So each one of these is a different banner. So you can change the class period, you can change the font, um, you can either change it here or here where it says text and you have all this variation in the font. So you really can play with it. This was a Bitmoji that I sent to myself. So if you double click it, you can actually see it had something else here, but I trimmed it. So if you just expand or reduce it, then you can trim things out. And so that's what I did with that Bitmoji. Um, you don't have to have a Bitmoji, you can add a different image. So if you go to photos here or elements, like let's say I wanted to add books, then I can just add books. I usually go with the free stuff. Um, I could add books instead, you know, whatever you want. So, all right, so let's say this is what you want. So I'm going to download them. Now, I can either download them one at a time and then upload them to Google Classroom, or I can download them all at once and then choose them from a file. So I'll show you both ways. So let's try one at a time. So let's go with download. So I'm gonna click this little down arrow here, and I'm going to go with the suggested, which is a PNG, and see where it says select pages. I'm just going to download the first page first. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm just gonna download the first one. Done, download. All right, and now here is my PNG. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Classroom. And so this is my test Google Classroom. I'm going to click here where it says upload photo. And then if you have yours on your desktop or if you have it on your downloads, up to you. So I typically just drag and drop and you do have to move it to only show, um, stretch it out as much as you can um, so that this part will, won't come out, only this part here. So whatever's in this square, it was the rectangle is what will come out. I'm gonna press um, select class theme and there's your header. So it's very um, simple to upload and then I can keep doing that um, with the other one. So. Let me show you if you were to download all of them at a time so you don't do one at a time. So I could download all seven pages, download. Okay, so it's downloading. So it's a bigger file, so it takes a little while to download. Um, and it will download it as a zip file. So see, mine is right down here on my downloads. Um, it's also right here on my downloads here. So I will open the zip file and it's a folder. And in that folder are all the, um, all the, all your banners. So 
it's an order in the order that you created them. So now I can go to my Google Classroom and click on Upload Photo. And since I have my folder open here, it's easy to just say, okay, this is period four, so I'm gonna drag four. And move it to the end, stretch it out as much as I want to stretch it out, select. And there we go. So now I have period form. And so that's how you download it from my Instagram, <laughs> from Canva, make a copy, and then upload it to your Google Classroom. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope that helps. Bye.